Let's Going into a one. not melee matchup between Squander Squad's very own Luck and Fop Top. Yes. The premier uh, Diddy Kong main in DFW and the third premier Mario main for behind Cephalon and yours truly because I beat Fop Top 3 2 in a money match. So, oh, did so Top, I'm better. Oh my god. So that off the way though, Fop Top's actually really, really good. Fop Top uh, started playing the game, started picking it up like a lot more seriously not too long ago. Yep. And. He started getting things down a lot faster. This is hand over. So maybe. Uh, let me. Can I tell? Can I let you in on a secret? No. He actually came to me uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, and he and he proposed a question to me. He said, Neptune, I don't understand neutral. Or uh, can you explain to me footsies? And I said, You kind of picked a really bad medium for me to explain a con, like a concept like that through text on Facebook. So um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a link to uh, Hurricane Sonic Hurricane Footsies 101. And you're going to read this, and you're going to watch all these videos, and next week you're going to talk to me at the event, and we will figure this out. That and said, what happens afterwards is he comes back to me, says, I've already bought Street Fighter, and we're going to play sets, and you're going to show me all these examples. And I can say that his neutral game has dramatically improved. Oh, yeah. It's definitely the... You can tell. You know, it's pretty obvious when you play a player that has good neutral and bad neutral, and, like... I mean, he took Dakbo to last stock in game one of their set, and he's up a stock right now against Luck. I mean, yes. you know, SDs aside, it's still, like, you know, it's something notable. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bob Top, he learns the game very quickly, and I know that he hates losing. Yes, he does. But he hates it so I'm much. on there on Skype with, I'm on, not Skype, but I'm on Steam with him, and we're talking back and forth about, between all these other crazy shenanigans, all these other fighters. But his conversions right now, he spent, I, he's told me he spent a little bit of time working on his punishment game, and I think it shows as well. Um, Luck known, though, as this absolute monster when it comes to his punish game. Oh, as yeah. soon as he puts someone on his back, he is there, he is ready, he's primed, Ooh. and he has some amazing moments of brilliance. There's the you fair follow-up. You know what? This up. matchup, I think, might be, like, style-wise, not one that's good for Luck, because Luck is a very momentum-based player, and he's, he loves to overwhelm his opponents. Versus Fop Top, who's now able to just stifle that well, I mean, by playing a little bit more conservatively. It's Mario. Yeah. Mario crouch cancel down smash? Yeah. Mario crouch cancel grab, jab three times, grab, like Tick amazing throws. dare, amazing nair, just like combo breaker up B. Like Mario is one of the hardest characters to overwhelm in the game. And you know what? And it showed because earlier Luck got hit by a crouch cancel down smash. That's why he's at 161, because he was putting pressure where it was not possible to put. Whoa! Oh, wow. Yo, see, chill. that's what I mean. Luck just, he loves being all over his opponent. He'll charge that F smash. He'll, like, go all over you. He doesn't care if it's unsafe because he knows that if you are going to play defensive, then he can get away with it. He knows that if he can catch you flinching, he's going to get a mile out of this. But Fop Top trying to see if he can maintain position. Ooh. Luck saying, we're not having that. We're playing on my terms. And the up B. It's not going to be It's not going to kill. Wow, no. I'm there sorry. it is, though. That down smash will. Now we have all 45% difference between the two of them. It is very much doable for the for this to be caught up between the, off of a single grab potentially. Oh yeah. And Mario, you know what? I think that Mario, wow, I'm surprised that wasn't an up smash. Mario can get up smashes and up air strings off this grab, and if he's lucky, he can convert it into F smash, uh, into down smash, into all sorts of, you know, fair, all sorts of nasty things. Ooh. You can see, but you know what? Luck already, you can see the adjustment between the first few stocks and now, because oh, now, gosh. you know what? The soul fists are too real. Shout out to the brother June, and there's the forward smash to end the stock. Luck is now looking fantastic, and using this projectile game has really kind of stifled out Fox exactly. Up neutral. Exactly. He was playing really aggressively beforehand, which is what I was commenting on, but now, you know what? He's opting to use more peanuts, more bananas, more saying, here, have some food. You know what? Maybe you should eat a little bit, Mario, before you fight me, and now that Mario's full, he just can't keep up anymore. Now that he's caught the itis, man, that's a problem. It's a genuine problem. Oh, he caught him without. As soon as you catch someone and they trip there, I my heart skips a beat because I know the follow-ups can be devastating. Oh, and one luck. Else. You know what? No one's better at them than luck, except for like maybe Junebug. But apparently, luck beat Junebug in friendlies at Low Tier City. I heard. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's nuts. That's the second time that a, the, the champion of Low Tier City lost to Oracle in our weekly and lost to luck in friendlies at the tournament. <laughs> apparently. Texas best region shout out to the same. But luck pushing in there. And this is this is something that's essential when it comes to this matchup is knowing how to wave dash properly at the right times to just negate some of that uh, oh, neutral. Yeah. But unfortunately it's not gonna pay out just yet. And Fop Top loses that first one to Luck's fantastic offense. Luck 
and was pretty far behind. He was at 160% on his second stock while Bob Top was still at all four at like 90 or something. But manages to bring all and that Luck back. Luck's smart, dude. He's smart. He's really smart. He's really smart. He's smart. And he's not... Luck's largest weakness, weakness not, lies in the nuances of the game mm. where... You know how like someone like Lunchables or Umbreon will have very calculated decisions for like everything, and they and they can tell you. You yeah. can ask them a question, and they have an like, answer. And they have an answer. You can ask them any question, and they have an answer. For Versus you. Luck, who's very intuitive. Yeah, and Luck feels just, it exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, Luck is great at adapting to like the concepts of the game, to aggressive play, to defensive play. They're like, oh, you. He knows. He figures out. Okay, what? How is he approaching? How is he playing out footsies with me? And then Luck is great at just like figuring all of that out as soon as possible. And at that point, he says, it doesn't really matter if I know which attack meets what, or if I know exactly how to space, or how which space I can keep and which I have to give up. As long as I know what you're doing, I can beat it out with my own like Game my plan. own aggression. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And Luck, very much an intuitive player, and very good when it comes to just grabbing the edge there and holding it onto it for dear life. That is going to take the first shock. Luck, I, I imagine, is going to continue to run amok. Uh, but it, you're right, it's going to be come back down to Fop Top. Because he's the one who suffered at the hands of, uh, of Luck at those last few stocks. Everything really just shifted Ooh, wow. so much for him. So it comes down to adaptation. Is there any suggestions that you think you would make to Fop Top for how to deal with Luck? Yes. What would that be? I don't know, I'm sorry, I was reading the chat. Okay. Repeat what you last bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. <laughs> I'm going to flip that over. What suggestions would you make to Fop, Fop Top? To, de to deal with someone like Luck. Change oh, your game okay. plan up, so, just change your force of attack. So, you really, okay, first off, you can't miss text, and Luck will, he will beast oh, on your soul if you miss text. That's Luck is amazing. All the highlight reels that, that we of see of him are exactly. from text. Yeah. And not only that, but I like this. I like the fireball game. I like making sure he has the banana. And overall, nice up and I love that. Just like, try not to let Luck get too much started. Wow. And already, like, you know what? He's on the back foot, but it's not looking nearly as dominant until we missed the tech. As soon oh as he missed the gosh, tech, that was so scary. it stopped looking like, you know, it started looking like, oh, Luck is just dominating him now. Luck was pressuring him, but it wasn't, like, that bad. Ooh. And He's fighting his way back to the stage here. And just using the tactic of staying a little bit more patient, chucking fireballs, keeping full screen, and also, just being smart about it, and knowing how to deal with projectiles, and at least grabbing the peel, that negates a lot of pressure. Also, uh, down air, I think, is super, like, criminally good mm. for Mario that people don't utilize nearly as much as they should. Uh, Mario's down air has insane amounts of priority, and a lot of the time, as long as you can identify that Luck isn't throwing the banana at you, you can actually just down air at him. Or, or fair, I guess. Or fair, you know. Or, or fair is shield. Fair is shield, whatever. He'll, he'll jump into it. Uh, down air... Oh he my does goodness. very, very well in trades because it rarely trades at all. Oh, excellent job going for the empty jump cross up, but not having a solid enough punish. Yeah, on he the missed. Receiving end. I think he missed his jump cancel grab, so his grab no. came out of the way of the normal. So Whoa! Two missed punishes there. So you saw uh, Fop Top going. Oh, he tried to style on him a little bit. You saw Fop Top go for up B a little bit too early. Had, was stuck in special fall, but whiffed punish from Luck. Yep. It's it was a it was interesting match. Kind of went back and forth. First game was really interesting watching Fop Top kind of dictate and command the lead early. Kind of dwindled well, away there, what? but Luck really caught tempo and just did what Luck does and just yeah. started to solve after, his opponent and have those moments of genius. After that first two stocks, you could you could tell the active adjustment that Luck made yeah. in regards to how aggressive his opponent was being. And he just said, you know what? He did what top players do and adapted.